All right, guys, what's up? Today we're going to talk about career advancement opportunities at the OMSES program for Georgia Tech. Now, you'll find a lot of good things in this video, like how you can get recruited while you're in the program, as well as what your salary increase can be after the program. So stay tuned for all of that. Let's get started. Okay, so best thing about the OMSES, number one, First of all, when you're taking the classes, you sometimes get directly recruited by companies in the specific class you are in. For me, this happened in CS6601 AI, where Meta came to our class specifically and presented about a project that they had going on, and then they accepted resumes and stuff from people there right on the spot. So, I mean, this is nice because you don't even need to really do much to get these opportunities presented to you and companies have a good relationship with Georgia Tech and are always looking to recruit more students. So that's really cool of the program depending what class you're in. Sometimes you'll have companies directly talking to you about getting hired. What else? Career fairs. So while you're at the OMSCS, you can enroll in Georgia Tech's online and in-person career fairs. So you basically consider just a normal regular student while you're in the OMSCS so they give you access to all the things that a regular Georgia Tech student would get. So there are always tons of companies coming into their career fairs to talk to students. And if you live in Atlanta, even better yet, you can go see the people in person and get their two cents about what companies might be right for you. Now, third thing is Piazza. So when you're a Georgia Tech student, you get access to this website called Piazza where you can upload your portfolio about yourself, say what classes you've taken, upload your resume, upload a profile picture of yourself. And this is nice because then uh, companies come to these resources here and can directly look and search up what you know about and reach out to you if you are a good fit for their company. Okay, so now let's talk salary. So based on some postings online, your salary can go anywhere from 2X to 3X depending where you start at. This is great because the OMSCS is an affordable program where the whole thing costs around $8,000. So if you're looking for a way to up your salary, I would say the OMSCS is a fantastic investment. Another really nice thing about the OMSCS is when you do group projects with people, you will frequently run into people who work at big tech companies. You'll be rubbing shoulders with a ton of different people in the OMSCS. So basically, if you have good rapport with them, I would say go for it and ask for a referral as well as your network itself will just grow inherently from meeting all these different students. All right, and finally, recruitment after the OMSES. So basically, when you have your master's degree in computer science, it shows that A, you can take hard problems and solve them, but B, you have determination and dedication in you. So this is great for recruiters. They really like to see that and your credentials will be built up significantly. When you get your degree from Georgia Tech after the OMSES, nowhere does it say on your degree online, or anything like that. It's just a straight up degree in computer science and you can use this to then up your chances of getting noticed by recruiters when you're in the job search. Now I wanna dive into just a little bit of my own experience during my time at the OMSCS. So yes, like I mentioned in CS6601 AI, Meta came directly to our class and asked for people to submit their resumes and get recruited. As well as during the program, I would often be reached out to on LinkedIn from people at companies that were seeing my degree or my current degree and stuff like that and also wanted to talk to me. I will say that um, a lot of the job search will come down to your specific skills, but the OMSES has a wide range of classes that you can take. So if you're interested in learning more about distributed systems, you can do that at the OMSES. If you're interested in learning more about machine learning and AI, they have a ton of different classes you can choose. And so this really kind of comes up to you where you want to focus your efforts on. I would say that it's a really practical and good thing to try out computing systems as a major, especially if you're coming from a non-computer science background. The reason I say this is because when you're working in the tech field, any kind of experience you have in the operating system level, the networking level, will always be relevant as a software engineer. So if that's your main goal is to, from a non-CS background, jump into the OMSCS, get those skills, get those hard skills that people are looking for, I would suggest computing systems is a really good bet for you to focus your efforts. Now, let's say you do have programming experience, maybe you even already have a developer job, then, and if you're looking for something new, then I would suggest using the AI machine learning route to better expand your horizon. So with the AI and machine learning routes, uh, you have a ton of different classes to choose from. My favorite classes were machine learning for trading, AI for robotics, and the AI class itself. Now these are great. They'll give you some projects that you can showcase on your resume, on your portfolio, 
as well as just get to understand more of this world in general. So best of luck to you if you're thinking about doing the OMSES. Please drop it down in the comments below if you have any questions for me. I would love to answer those as well as for career advancement opportunities and coaching and stuff like that. I do that at the link in the description below and I would love to help you out if you're interested. Thank you and have a great day.